I got coming right. here. Every year you get heard up of me, make I decide that what we're celebrate. Are we celebrating the Battle of St. George's Key? Are we re knock it? 19 year old David Morey has become a comedic sensation in Belize. He is everywhere. Morey produces content on social media. He has headlined numerous local comedy shows. And his talent has led to a number of endorsement deals with local businesses and organizations. Today, we visited Mori in Independence Village at the Triangle Park where it all began. I call this the National Village, right? When they say you get the independence scene at this month, that is the talk about. This place, this is my hometown, all right? And the, the thing is about Mango Creek is that a lot of people don't know that Mango Creek and Independence are the same place. So we could honestly say that we were in two places at the same time, Mango Creek and Independence. For him, comedy began with creating content for social media. At the age of 15, Mori and a group of friends launched Baka Bush Vines on YouTube and Facebook. They shot their first series of videos inside this park. They don't want to make a look bad. They say, well, you just uh, tell jokes and think jokes not paid at Belize. I always say that jokes not paid at Belize, David. You don't waste your time, David. Why are you to do this, David? Eventually, throughout the years, I never did um, start this with the intention that I would work with businesses, do promotions, perform, travel over the country. I've always told my mom that I want to travel Belize, man. Because my pa used to tease me, my pa used to always say, David, you're the home mode and the washing machine. I said, that, that will change. That will change. You know what stay so. You know what stay so. And here I am today. And things have in fact changed for Mori. He recently signed a contract with the University of Belize to become their social media brand ambassador. As a result, he has been given an opportunity to pursue his bachelor's degree at the institution, an endeavor his parents would not have been able to afford otherwise. David's mother, Shalim Mori, has six children. David is the youngest of the six. His parents are sometimes out of work, but they have always found ways to provide. Like everybody says, it's hard, but you know, by trying, you have the both parents, it gets much easier to do it. And my husband do like um, carpentry. Yeah, he do like um, so so. And you know, that's not every time you have a job like that. So it's very hard, but we make it by the grace of God. And one time my brother asked me, just, just saying, uh, like, um, um, Charlie say, um, it was David. He said, um, can you give me David before he was in my belly? And he asked, could you give me? Because I tell him, brother, it's hard to raise so many kids without like um, regular jobs and whatever, right? And I tell him, no, brother, I can't give you. They don't even give, give away dogs or any, anymore. Like, you know, I, I tell him, I'm not going to give a, um, I always tell him that um, I'm going to struggle with my kids, you know. I, I got them, and God will make a way for me to raise them. My mom said, if you, you even have to raise them with banana, whatever, keep them with you, you know, because later on, you know, when they go about there, like they will think that you don't love them. We we'll make all of the fat police, they're going out of fat criminals. And all the MAGA police, we're not a MAGA criminal. Just like that to fix that. And the child that she decided to hold on to, against all odds, is now bringing comedic relief to her life in times of worry and sadness. Charlie says that all six children are her favorite and she loves each of them equally. And she's especially proud of David's dedication to his skill. I always like encourage him to, you know, like whatever he, he is into, I encourage him. Like, um, if he like it, I will be with him 100%, you know, I won't go against it and say, David, why are you talking fool or talking stupidness or whatever, you know, I'll be with him, you know, because even in the end of the day, sometimes when I'm having a bad day, I go on his, his um, yes, I do, and I am in my room laughing all day, like, like just going, it just make your day, you know, it, just the way he give the, like, the jokes to them, you know, that, like, that just make you feel so happy. You could be sad in your room or sad in your house, whatever, and you go on his page, you gotta laugh. We always bring God in whatever we do. We always put God first, you know, and always let them come up with that way that, you know, everything you do and say, put God first. David says the community he was raised in has also played a huge role in shaping the individual he is today. He says Mango Creek has exemplified what it means to be your brother's keeper. I wouldn't try to make it seem like there's something negative when I say Mango Creek people interfering. Like I always say, it's considerate. 
you don't mind somebody else's business that is being considerate. So when you cut a mango creek, expect somebody to care about you to the extent that your business is important <laughs> to them. All right? So it's not like I do it out of, oh, I don't got nothing better for you. I do it because I look out for you. And that's a lot of, um, a, a big part of Mango Creek is that we always look out for each other. You know, whenever um, somebody has something rough, everybody will try to um, help out that person. You know, it's always a community effort when you come in from Mango Creek. When asked what is his favorite video of his to date, he referred to this skit he did on Commissioner of Police, Chester Williams. Let us go to church and pray on New Year's no, no, Eve no. to bring in a good Christmas, um, a Christmas day. Well, I definitely feel like when, you know, maybe let's say five years, ten years, I want to be somebody that inspires the youth to chase after the artistic ambitions. Of course, you have to have your professional ambitions as well. So you're, you're, I know I said that, oh, if you want to be a doctor, that means if you have a singing talent, you have to just sweep that under the rug, forget about that. You could still pursue it. And I want to be a living example of that, a living testament that, oh, never make nobody stifle your creativity. You're born with that. Make somebody the argue on Facebook. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.